Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you this uh, Brava um, 570 oval cylinder. Okay, so this is a um, an oval cylinder. So the part number is 5070 USCKD. So that's the part number. All right. So this is a 570 cylinder. This is very common. Usually used in a lot of locks, a lot of mortise locks. Okay, I'll just quickly show you what you get in the box. Okay. So in the box we have the cylinder itself. Okay and comes with two keys, okay? So um, so this is the cylinder, this is what it looks like. This is what's known as an oval cylinder or a 570 cylinder. This particular cylinder is very commonly found in mortise locks, okay, you know, like the Lockwood 3772, 3782, uh, the flip bolt locks, you know, like the, the Lockwood ones, okay? Uh, dead bolt mortise locks, and um, it's also found in ADI locks, okay? The, uh, the block lock is found in that as well, okay? and some other types of um, locks that use this particular cylinder. Okay, so this is um, what's known. This is what's known as a 570 cylinder. Okay, uh, don't worry. It does come in a turn snip version as well. So this is a turn snip version. Okay, which is the exact same thing. The difference is that this one has a snib. So, so this one here will be more for um, for uh, a flip bolt. Okay, so, or if you want to have a if you had a cylinder on both sides, you want to change it to have a, a, a snib on the inside, you can simply just purchase this cylinder here and it will operate the same way. Okay, so um, this is made by Brava. Both of these are made by Brava, by the way. Okay, so which is a very good brand of locks. Okay, it's very recommended. Okay, a lot of locksmiths, a lot of locksmiths use it. Now in the box, of course, you do get the cylinder and you also do get some cams included, which is nice. Okay, so that means you don't have to buy your cams. They actually come with the cylinder, which is good to see. So, um, so the cams you it, that that you get with the cylinder um, comes with the one two one two, so one two three four five. Okay, so they're the five most common cams. Okay, okay, so these are common with um, the flip bolt locks. Okay, which is this R cam, which is the rabbit cam. Uh, this one here is the U cam. This was used on the Lockwood three six seven two and three six um, eight two. Uh, um, but that was a big nightmare that lock okay but that cam's still available you can still get it but the lock with the cylinder extensions actually use that okay then you got the the w cam which is used on the locks when you have the turn snib okay i'll just quickly show you a turn snib adapter so you so you know so this is a turn snib adapter here so when you have one of these you'd use this cam okay so that's um what that cam's for and then of course you've got your X cam and you've got your Z cam, okay? So the Z cam and X cam are, very, are, are probably the most common used on the Lockwood Synergy series, okay? So um, Lockwood, like the Lockwood 3582, 3572. Um, so the Z cam is basically just to lock and unlock, the X cam is just for retracting the latch, okay? But otherwise these are the most common cams. Now what the cams it doesn't come with is the ones for the new selector series, which would be the, the V cam and the um, X7, which is this type of cam right here. So that's the um, X7, so that's used on the new Lockwood locks, the ones that just came out, the um, the Selector series. So if you have one of them, you'll likely need to purchase that cam separate. And um, once again, you've got the new V cam, which is the same. So, um, but I haven't done an experiment, but I do believe these old cams will probably work on the new one, but that's just something that we'll have to try out, okay? So that's basically all you get in the in the kit with the cylinder. Okay, it sure is good that you don't have to buy your cams, they come with it, which is great. To swap the cam out, if you find that the cam is on the back is incorrect, what you do is you undo these two screws, you take it off, then you grab the um, the cam you want to put on there, you put it on, then you put it tight, then tighten it back up. Okay? So the lock comes with two keys, which is which is basically standard. Okay, so it comes with two keys from the factory. Okay, um, now the, this type of cylinder here is um, is compatible with restricted keying as well, so you can have it on a restricted key. It's also compatible with high security keying like MT5, um, multi-lock, uh, Abloy, Bi-lock, Galaxy and all that. So if you want a high security key, you can do that. Okay, now, um, so, now these cylinders here, you can get them keyed alike as well. So when you buy it from the locksmith, you just ask them, I want them keyed alike, and what they'll do is they'll um, take them and they'll match them to the one key. So you've got one key working working your um, your cylinders because it's more convenient just to have them set to one key. So if you're changing the cylinders in your commercial premises and you select a key alike and the locksmith will re-pin them so you've got one key 
working. So if you buy 10 of these and you say key alike, the locksmith will send you 10 and one key will work all 10. Okay, so that's the benefits of it. But they can also be key to like to other locks as well. So it's not just these oval cylinders, you can get them key to like to Euro cylinders, uh, rim lock cylinders, key and knob cylinders as well. So just tell the locksmith, um, hey, I want my whole order to be key to like, and he'll just, and then the locksmith will take all the locks, he'll take a set of keys and use that, repin the locks, so the one set of keys will work all those locks, okay? So that's the benefits of it. You can also get them key to differ, okay, which is basically what you get from, from factory, okay? So just tell if you want the locks, locks to be on the different keys, then you just say key to differ and the locksmith will just give you, will give you, will give you a five of these and they'll all have come with two a set of keys, okay? And each key will be cut differently, okay? So to, to operate the lock, you put the key in, you just turn the key and it will drive the cam on the back, as you can see there. So that part is what drives the, the yoke inside the lock. So when you turn it, this will catch the yoke and, and unlock it. All right, so, and the turn sniff cylinder is exactly the same, okay? So the cam on the back will catch the the um, the yoke or the latch and just and operate it, okay? So so that is the, the Brava uh, Metro uh, 570 cylinder, okay? Okay, 570 cylinder, okay? This, they do come in different colours as well. This one's in satin stainless, which is the most common, but you can get it in, in brass, okay, and possibly um, black as well, because black is quite fancy, as well as um, antique copper, okay. Okay, so there are your two keys, Brava, okay, and these keys, I think, are nickel-plated, okay. And looking inside there, I can see the pins in there. I think they're stainless from looks of things. All right, so that is a Brava uh, 570 cylinder, okay. So a very common cylinder used in a lot of commercial locks around Australia, okay? If you live in an apartment block, you'll most likely see one of these on your front door, okay? So I hope you enjoyed, and that'll be it.